Hello, and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play Part 15. So, as you can see, I've got the room here pretty nicely cleaned up. Need to fill in all those holes with the glass. Um, I built this dirt wall here and filled the room with water so that I could um, build that. It's 12 water generators on top of, and some cables on top of an MFE transmitter. And, um, what that does is it generates about 4 EUs per second, which is just enough to provide the little bit of power I needed at the time. Um, hold on. I don't mind the music, but I'm trying to talk at the moment. Okay. Um, MFE transmitter is directly above this block. The power comes down through here. This is a relay. And then the idea is that there'll be another one, uh, another water tower over there. Power will come down here, over this way, over there, and up that cable. It's a long cable, but it will take it all the way up to the level of my base. And there are relays every nine blocks or so. So over here, you see, there's this, and I'll turn it into glass eventually. Then so it comes this way into this whole giant, crazy tangled mess of wiring. The um, the wire comes along, and I don't have it hooked up right now because it's so little. I'm trying to focus it, but later I'll have it like this, and there'll be about 130 EUs in this wire. It'll split 65, 65, and then each oops, keep forgetting that won't happen. Each MFE transmitter will get 65 EUs per second coming in, and since they can only output up to 64, then they'll be always charging no matter what. Um, this MFE transmitter goes over to here that one, there's an MFE up there, and an MFE there. And then it outputs and it splits and goes to a machine here, 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 and here, providing 13 EUs per cable. And that's what will charge the crystal chargers. This MFE transmitter, meanwhile, comes down here and it splits, goes off this way and this way. So there's 32 in this wire, 32 in this wire. 32 comes in here, splits, becomes 16. The 16 then goes up there, and then it goes down, splits into 8, and then splits into 4, and covers the first 4 machines. This wire comes along, goes to this MFE transmitter, splits to 8 and 8, and then comes down here, splits to 4 in this machine and this machine, and then it also comes this way and does oops, 4 there, 2 machines there. Like that. The other cable with 32 in it goes to that MFE all the way through here. It splits to 16, 16, and then this 16 comes here, and then it covers four machines in this corner. It also comes this way, there's an MFE down there, all the way over to here. This just is a little lengther because it was too short, so I had to make it a bit longer. And then it, there's, um, 16 here, and it covers these four machines. So, in the end, I'll have 20 machines, four crystal chargers, five here, two here, three here, and f six along this wall. So, with all that said, I can now fill in this, make this look nice, oops, hate it when I do that,
and now hopefully you can kind of see a bit more clearly where the machines are going to be. Each wire is going to be ending in a machine. As you can see, I've staggered it so that um, they don't touch because if you have the wires touching then you get the wires the cable the power will split in odd ways that I don't want. So also in this chest I've got 12 stacks of glass because that's what I'll need for building the um, walls out in the power room. Um, let's see. I put some yeah okay that's good. I need some more smooth stone, so I've got smooth stone smelting up. Also, now that I've shown how this is done, I can make this look nice, because I just really hope I won't ever need to get to these wires, because I'd have to rip up all this smooth stone. <laughs> I'm going to make it like that, and that. There we go. And then later I'll have a door here. Okay, I'm liking this. one down here. Um, this room has enough lateral space to support 11 towers and then I'll have at least another 11 stacked on top of them and possibly more. I haven't counted how many I can get vertically so that will be interesting to see. Alright, first I fill this in. this, but I guess I hadn't. There we go. Okay. Now, let's see. Won't need that for a second. Or for a while, actually. Okay. Eventually, I plan on bringing glowstone down and lighting this all up with glowstone so I can see it even once it's full of water, because that is the problem. It's really dark. You can't really see much. building this out of stone because I can't put ladders on glass. So that will be good. That will I think look quite nice. And eventually I'll do the same thing on the other wall. Now just to make this all glass. Okay, so I finished the first glass wall, and that's how I wanted it to look. The um, one thing I forgot that I would need to do is I forgot that I actually need to charge up my nano suit. So I'm gonna run back to my base and do that because uh, without the stuff that the nano suit provides, I don't really. Uh, Oh, yeah, okay, I remember this. <laughs> I don't really want to try and work, you know, high up, underwater, that kind of thing. Let's see. I think to speed things up, I'm going to build a couple more crystal chargers. Yeah, because if I build the f three more crystal chargers, then it won't take that long to charge it up. Alright, so crystal chargers. Glowstone and generators. The generators would take stuff, iron, Right, okay, I know what to do. I'll get this, and this, 
and some of this as well as some of this and some of that. Okay. Um, start smelting that. I'll macerate that. No, it's the other way around. Yeah, there you go. Need to get two more pieces of gold dust. I really need to go to the nether and um, get a bunch of glowstone but for the time being this works it's cheap almost done then I'll turn these into some refined iron while I run the calculations on how much I'll need I think I'll need more yeah um, let's see I'll need Six generators, that one doesn't count. Or maybe it does. Let's just think of it. Six generators will be. Hmm, boy, it's been a long time since I made the generator recipe. I think. Oh, forget it. Let's see. Here we go, generator. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. So it does take... Takes furnace machine battery. So I would need 48 iron. Eighteen tin, I think. Yeah, eighteen redstone. And I'll need to make some more cables. Let's see, I've got... Yeah, okay, also I'll need some more of that. Alright, I'm going to cut the video and jump ahead here. Okay, so I jumped ahead. I now have three crystal chargers. And I decided I don't really like them being out from the wall like that. So, rather than sticking the, oh, excuse me, there, I'm going to embed them into the wall. I won't be able to see the tops, oops, of them, but I don't think I'll need to. Plus, I just think that, that one aside, it looks... Um, my wrench isn't working on it. That works just fine. This has turned into a machine block. Um, hold on one second. Okay, problem solved. Yeah, I like that. Nice, smooth. Okay. Now, all I gotta do is put my gear in. Mm, why not? Huh. <laughs> Alright, give that some time. Uh, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Going to recharge my backpack out of this MSD transmitter. And okay. Click on the hot bar, right click it, stick it there, very good, very good. These will take a bit to charge up and then I'll get back to the uh, power plant room. There. 
Okay. Let's see. I know, I should probably grab another stack of rocks. Cobblestone, whatever. Stick that on there. Good. And I guess that counts as idle. Now I just wait for this to finish. Okay. It has finished charging. That there, that there, that there, that there. Alright. Now. I need to figure out how I'm going to convert this wall to glass. And I think that I'm going to convert this upper part to smooth stone. Because otherwise I won't be able to place torches on it. Like that. I think that will look really good. Mm hmm. Alright, so looks like all this glass has to go, unfortunately. Fortunately, I've got all that rock, and you can turn rock into glass. Well, sand, and then sand into glass. So it's not a total waste. See that hole down there? It's simply not going anywhere. So that's really cool because it means that once I get this top part down, I'll be able to just take down the wall and uh, no problem. Okay. I don't know if this will work, but let's try it. Okay, so as you can see, I've jumped ahead, and it is really, really nice now. Both walls are made out of glass, and they have that see-through. Now, all that light is going to get lost as soon as I flood that room with water, but later I'll build a bunch of glowstone blocks, and so this should look really cool when it's all done. Um, so yeah, I did that to match the size of my hallway here. Now, this ceiling, I don't know if I mentioned, I don't, I'm pretty sure I didn't mention this, but the ceiling, if you have the ceiling like this, then you can, if you, and hold space bar, then you can literally just walk around on the water. Now, right here we go. But if you have any higher than that, you get this constant jumping thing, which is kind of annoying, which is why I've set it so that you can just, and it, it, yeah, you can see that. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. Anyway, now I've made this all out of dirt. This is a sort of a ceiling to the room and this is how you uh, flood a room with water and actually have it be the way you want it. First, let me just block this off real quick and let me smooth this out real quick. Yeah. Get your torches higher up on the wall, like so. And then, do that, and that. Hmm. Yeah, in order for this to work, you have to build the infinite spring first. There you go. supposed to work. Oh yeah, 
how that works. Okay. Basically, you just keep throwing source blocks around. If you can, if you, what you want to do is you want to put them down on diagonals. Because the way the source blocks and stuff works out is if you've got two, um, lost my thought. Yeah, two source blocks on diagonals, then, well, uh, two source blocks contacting a third, that block will become a source block as well. And the trick is to make the whole thing source blocks. Hmm. Now I can take the third out and it's automatically become source block. And because there's no current over here, it's easier. So now I'll work from over here. Hmm. Those are already source blocks, the zine. There we go. It's tricky because sometimes source blocks will have a flowing effect because Yeah. Oh yeah, I see. This whole area is source blocks, but it can't progress farther. So what if I do this? Put some source blocks there on the diagonal. Yeah, okay. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. I haven't ever done this very much. Yeah, okay. Alright, this works. Yeah, see how it becomes source blocks like that? Yeah, okay. So this is how you do it then. I'm placing the source blocks on the diagonals. I think I misplaced that one. Yeah, I did. It's hard to tell because the light's kind of low in this area. There it goes. Done. Mm, nicely done. Strong spot. There it goes. That's a lot of it. Now I just have this area to deal with. If I just put it on the wall here, yep, look at that. A couple more source blocks, and this one's done. There, that should do it. And perfect. Okay. So now, once the whole thing has become source blocks, then all you have to do is break out the floor. Now, of course, doing this, I'm going to break all of my torches. But that's not a problem. Um, I'm not sure how I'll reclaim them. I think I'll just run around and swim in the general area until I feel like I've got most of them. I'm not too worried about them though.
idea. Next I'm going to mine that out so it looks like this. But yeah, okay, so now I'm going to go over and see what that looks like. Come over here. Okay, good, so it's doesn't look as cool, but eh, good good for now. Going to Oh, that's right. I um I dropped it. Boy, I hope it didn't despawn. I completely forgot that I dropped my mobile charger. Although, come to think of it, you know, I've got two, so if I have lost it... <laughs> didn't need that. Now well, there's nothing in this room, so it looks like I lost it. Oh well. A lot of dirt in this room. Torches too. And now it's really, really dark. thing I did here no the right side is um yeah I built this sort of little tunnel thing here didn't have enough glass to finish it though there now not only can I provide some light down here I've got this little side tunnel I can walk around in and watch the proceedings from. Okay, so back up to my base. Hmm, I'm thinking that now would be a good time to hit the nether for the glowstone. Good. Stick that on. Take that. Let's see here. Take that. Why do I have a piece of copper in my inventory? Well, I remember I picked up some copper ore off the wall. Um. Okay, that will keep going. Oh, right, I remember. My drill's charged. And so is my backpack. <laughs> For once, my diamond drill popped back in where it's supposed to go. Alright, I'm gonna put that back just so I don't lose it. Charge my bat pack. Right click it. Stick it on. Oh, and that reminds me. While I was setting all this up, I heard some monster noises, so I dug this way and found these torches. I'm like, oh, okay, I've broken one of my caves. And I haven't bothered tracing this cave all the way back to my tree farm. But I know from that landmark that I could get to my tree farm from this cave. So I just find it kind of amusing that from here, my tree farm is over in that direction. So the cave entrance would be down in that area. The cave there looped all the way around and is over here. 
But I still hadn't found the monster noises. So I dug this way some more. And found all these mushrooms. And then a creeper blew up. But this is a lot of mushrooms. And at that point I realized, oh, I've got to record this. So I left it and I totally forgot about it. So one kind of odd thing is this torch right here was already in this cave when I got here. Now, I when I was building my um, room, I, I found some caves and I would explore them. None of them were that interesting, but I remember in my travels I found a small room full of mushrooms. And I thought I had gotten all the mushrooms, and that was that. Now I'm wondering if maybe I missed a handful of mushrooms, and then they spread, and that was, that's the only explanation I can come up with for the torch. So, I don't know. It's kind of a weird one. What I'm amused by is the fact that there's so many mushrooms. I mean, I'm never going to have mushroom shortages, that's for sure. But, wow. Actually, I should put them up on the walls in case they don't want to spread. I'm also kind of debating whether I should have leave the torches or not. If I leave the torches, then they might not grow more mushrooms, but it might be an interesting test. And no, I think I'm just going to take all the mushrooms. I mean, seriously, this is what, three, four stacks of mushrooms I'm up to now? So... But it was so strange because the monster or the skeleton was making the skeleton noises, but also the I'm walking on grass noises, which you get if you walk on mushrooms. Yeah. So it was so confusing, and then I found this cave. See, that's the other thing. There are no other cave entrances here. This is a totally self sealed cave. Um. Except for maybe what's that? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, dude, I know. This, that, oh, that explains the torch. Because I was up here, and I came around, I saw this, and I didn't want to drop down, so I, oh, okay. So I planted that, okay, I got it now. Okay, that's, whoa. Didn't do that. That's really, really cool. Now, just for kicks, I'm going to go this way. See if I can remember how to get back to my base. This should be fun. Haven't come down to the caves in a while. Yeah, I remember this. I had to dig this out. And let's see. This? Where is this? Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna go this way here. Oh, that was easy. Um, uh, wait. More this way. Good, good. Nice and simple.
almost looks like it's ready for a portal, but alright. There's water to my left. Oh wait, there's water down here too. Huh. This looks kind of odd, but okay. This is kind of simple looking. Huh. I'm still on hard, right? Yeah, I'm on hard. One creeper guarding his whole long quest quest chain. <laughs> Cave chain. Here's the water. There's a zombie. About time I heard something. It's loud. Sounds like... Right on top of me. He's like right on top of me. Yep, no, I was gonna say there's the cave. Yeah. He's gonna be behind this gravel, I bet. There's two of them. into my cave again. Okay, I just looped around. Ah! Didn't see it the first time. I bet this is where the more distant one came from. Or not. Alright, you know what? Forget it. Don't usually do this. Dude, okay, there's monsters. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's all the monsters. Now this makes a lot more sense. There's distant monsters that way. Where's the loud monsters? Okay. They're right there. I saw there's a cave down that way, but I want to go this way first. Hmm. I think I'm near the surface. Heard a sheep. I am pretty high up. <gasps> the surface! Wow. And it's raining.
me I can find where the base is. Okay, I know. No. Wait, is that? That is. That's my base. Okay. So I know exactly where I am now. And I came out of the square rock. Square thing. Mushroom. Yeah, this I came out of this. Thing. No. Huh. Oh, well, there's a skeleton. You know what? I've been here. I recognize the spot. This, I think this is where I got some early coal. I don't want to go off that way. I don't see, wait, is that no? Yeah, I recognize this area. So I totally know where I am. Alright, it's getting close to nightfall. I'm going to get out of here. Go back to my base before it's totally dark. And I'll just find it again from the other side. So that's really cool. So via the caves, I've found a secret way outside of my base. That means that I can run down to my tree farm and then get out of my base. Cool, cool, and more cool. Let's grab that, and let's drop some of this stuff off. So, talk about totally getting sidetracked. <laughs> but, um... Got a ton of mushrooms. I don't even know what I'm going to do with all these mushrooms. The thing is, you see, they're all brown mushrooms. I don't have any red mushrooms. Oh well. Um... Grab that and that. I, I had a map once before, you might remember. But then I lost it in part 10. Because I fell in some lava. I'm pretty sure that was the only... Well, I think there were a few other times, but... That was one of the few times where I actually died. So that... Get that smelting. Let's see. Cows go there. Feathers go there. I'll take this back into the caves and see what it ends up looking like. Let's see. That and that. That can. Uh, okay, good. 
Now, put the wood away though. Now let's run back down to the um, poor power room here. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember what I was working on. Okay. Yeah, didn't I like run out of torches or something? I don't remember. No, I ran out of smooth stone and my wrong button. Drill ran out of power. That's what happened. A little bit further. There we And I don't really care about the stone that I'm losing down in the water. Stone, dirt, I've got so much of it. Why do I really care? I don't. This wall. And it's done. Well, sort of done. Wrong button. Now I need to add a bunch of light. I can look down, and there's more squid down there. I really don't know what I'll do if um, Notch adds dangerous underwater content. Let's see. It will be unpleasant. Okay. Now. Let's go to the nether. Okay, there's more I could do, but at this point... I just want to go to the nether at this point. Alright, so stash this in here. I'm going to stick this there. Just, well... I'll take some of each, because I need to... D I know d I don't want to use dirt, which I'll take some anyway. I will need this, but not that. I don't need the compass, but I don't want to put it there. I want to put it over here. A wrench and a compass. I can drop as well as that. And I just don't want the majorly important stuff. And that, because yes, I'm invincible, but I don't want to tempt fate regardless. This will be useful, and this will be useful. Yeah. Do I even have a flint and steel? I just suddenly realized I don't have a flint and steel to begin with. That's okay. Taking all eight seconds to smelt this up. Or maybe 
six seconds. I don't know. I didn't count that. There we go. Never remember how this works. There we go. So then we seal. Put that there. Okay. Now. Um. Hmm. Where do I want to put my portal? Nowhere. Oh, over there. Over there. I guess. I'll put it down here. I built this up a bit. I guess this will be where I stick my portals. Yeah, okay. So, I'll put it right through here. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, okay. I know what that is. Okay, so I'm going to cut this episode here. Next episode, I'll go to the nether. See you then. <laughs>